welcome back to my channel. Hope y'all are ready for some serious cleaning motivation. I have been out of town for the last few days, so it's time to get home, get back into the groove of things. I need to unpack. I got bedding that needs to be done, tons of laundry, and just your everyday cleaning. I did go out of town to help Becca. If you guys watch her cleaning channel, it's Happily Ever Becca. I went down to South Carolina to help her. She did have surgery, so I'm just getting back from that. So I have tons of cleaning that needs to get done. Thankfully, my husband like really stayed on top of things while I was gone, so it's really just laundry that I need to get caught up on. And then of course, you know, that deeper cleaning that I like to do. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first thing I needed to do was go ahead and unpack my bag from whenever I went to Becca's. In case you guys don't know what's going on, she did have an aneurysm in her brain. So I had to go down there so she could get a stint put in. Thankfully, she is doing great. Everything went smoothly. And I was so happy to be able to be there with her and see her again because she is my real life best friend. And it's so amazing that we met through YouTube and we share that common like interest. It's so nice having someone to talk to about YouTube because it is such a, you know, just different line of work. So I really appreciate her friendship and I was happy I got to see her and be there with her. But now that I'm back home, it's time to get back to business. So I'm unpacking everything. I was behind on laundry, like I mentioned. So we're going to go ahead, bring down all the laundry. I also wanted to wash my bedding because it had been a while. That's one thing that I kind of been putting on the back burner ever since we moved was washing the bedding. It's like life has just been so busy and chaotic. My normal routine, like things that I would do, have just kind of gone out the window because any free spare moments I'm trying to unpack and organize and just everyday life, it's it's been hectic. So I'm trying to get back into the routine of things. My house is almost completely in order. You guys will see later in this video, I ended up tackling our um, dining room area, which was the area that was kind of becoming our catch-all. So everything, like the pictures and like random items where we were like, oh, we have to find a spot for it. We were just setting it on our dining room table. So I'm super excited. We're gonna be tackling that area in today's video. It is such an amazing transformation. I can't wait for you guys to see it. Obviously nothing is like completely done in the house, but at least we are getting the things unpacked and put into a place so it's making me just feel so much better. You guys know I don't function well with like clutter and a mess. So getting the house in order is a must. We, we watch the sun go down over the same old town like so many times before. You guys know whenever we moved into this house the issues we had obviously with the movers and how they broke my dryer you guys can see um, my dryer is the one obviously to the right and the knob is all messed up i ended up finding a replacement knob on amazon i believe it was like right at twenty dollars I was kind of nervous ordering it because I was like, I don't know if it's going to match or not, but you guys, the knob fit perfectly. So I now have knobs on both of my machines. And then my husband said he's going to get some liquid nail and try to glue the panel back into place. I mean, obviously it's not going to like hold very well, but at least it'll be in place. It'll look like it's fine. And I'll know just to be super gentle with it because obviously it could just fall right off. But I'm like, you know what? My machine is working fine. It's just aesthetically it looks messed up. So I'm super happy with it. I'm glad I was able to find a replacement knob and then we'll just patch it up as needed. Um, but we are now in my kids bathroom as you guys could see it's dirty they had so much shampoo on this glass 
door, I was like, what in the world are y'all doing with your shampoo and conditioner? Like just gobs of it. And it was so tough to get out. So I was actually talking to um, some of my friends like, okay, what's the best way to clean the glass? So Becca said she uses a magic eraser. So next time I'm going to try a magic eraser. If you guys have any other ideas for getting hardened shampoo and conditioner off of glass, leave it down in the comments for me, please, because my kids are, oh my gosh, they're making such a mess because they've always taken baths. Like my kids have always bathed. And so this is the first time they're using a shower and I'm just, yeah, I'm seeing how messy they are in the shower for the first time. Thankfully, this electric scrub brush worked amazingly on the floor. I really love this scrub brush for the floor of showers, like any flat surface. I feel like it works great. It's just those corners where sometimes it gets a little tight and it does come with a different um, attachment head. I'm just too lazy to go downstairs and get it, but I love this scrubber for the showers. It makes my life so much easier. And this shower, I think it's the grout they used. At first I thought it was still dirty, so I went in with some bleach, but they still didn't change from that like yellow color. So I don't know if there's anything I can really do about it. I did try, but it still looked the same when I got done scrubbing it. I recently found a bunch of new products at Walmart. They were all by the pink stuff. So I was so excited to get them and try them out. So this is the pink stuff glass cleaner. So far I've used it in the shower and of course on my mirrors. I really like it. It left them super clear and shiny. So that is a win in my book. I want to try it in our shower as well. We're starting to get I wouldn't, I don't know if they're water stains or just like droplets left behind. I don't think they have hard water here in Virginia Beach, but um, I do want to try it in my shower and see if it gets off that like grime that's on our glass. That's the next area that I really need to tackle. And then I also picked up the pink stuff toilet bowl cleaner, which y'all, I'm just obsessed with it because it's hot pink when you put it in the toilet and I just think it's pretty. So, <laughs> and it did a great job cleaning the toilet. So definitely recommend the pink stuff. Everything I've used from them so far has been excellent. And I saw they also have a laundry booster. That is the next thing I want to pick up to try out because I have been noticing again that I'm starting to get some spots on my laundry and I was really thinking my Zum laundry detergent was doing the trick, not leaving spots, but all of a sudden I'm getting spots again and I'm just wondering if maybe it was because my washer was like thrown around a little bit in the move because ever since we moved I've been having a big problem with that so I plan on doing another deep cleaning I want to pull out the filter clean it do another um, cycle with like vinegar I might even buy those little tablets because I know you can get the tablets to put in your uh, washer to run a cycle. So I might pick up one of those because it's just, it's really frustrating me. And I also plan to start making my own homemade laundry softener because I don't use really any laundry softener besides regular old vinegar. And I thought, you know what, it'd be fun to make my own. So be on the lookout for that. I do plan on making my own. I even ordered these really cute containers to put it in. So I'm excited to do that and share, you know, what I think about it after I make it and how it works.
I wanted to take the time to clean around the toilet really well. Of course, you know, having boys, the toilet will get dirty, but something really gross, whenever we moved into this house, as you guys can tell, there's a lot of marble in the bathrooms or granite. I'm not sure exactly what this material is, but our downstairs bathroom has like granite on the entire, like the walls, the floor, everything is that like granite marble material. And I had noticed there was like weird like spots next to the toilet. You guys, I took a wipe and I cleaned the walls beside the toilet. There is straight urine all over the walls. And I was like, what in the world? I don't know if that's like the previous people, they were just very dirty, or maybe like the toilet water splashes out whenever we flush. I don't know what it was, but after cleaning that, I was like, oh my goodness, I need to do a very deep cleaning in all of these bathrooms. So the next thing that's on my to-do list is to clean every single inch of the walls in my downstairs bathroom because I'm like, I just wiped near the toilet. So I'm like, I don't even know what the rest of the walls are going to look like. And that grossed me out. So that is on my to-do list. I just couldn't believe I'm like, do our walls get like, like literally the first thought was do the dry walls get like this? And we just don't know. There's like a layer of little particles of nastiness that came out of the toilet when we flush and we just don't even know it. They're on our wall. I don't know. I really hope not, but either way, I'm really thinking the people who lived here before us must've been disgusting and didn't clean the walls. So that is on the to-do list. I will be tackling that. I think I'm gonna put that in my next video because I've, I've literally been just like making a mental note of all the things that I want to get to. And especially now that the house is mainly unpacked, I'm like, okay, I can finally do the deep cleaning that I wanna do and like tackle all the areas. I even noticed like cobwebs in the house that I need to get to and just all of the things. And then me and my husband, I think are likely gonna tackle the garage together. So I might not do it on camera. Um, it just depends because we are so ready to get the garage organized. And usually my husband does the garage. Uh, so he's like, really wanting to get in there and do the organizing for that because he has all his tools and stuff like that so i'm like okay maybe we'll tackle that together and then i'll just show you guys how we end up doing it i'll do like a before and after because y'all <laughs> we can't even walk in there it is so bad we have empty boxes again i made a huge trip to the dump already but we have a ton more boxes again and it just needs to be organized so we are excited to get in there. I want to plug in my deep freezer because right now it is so packed. We can't even like pull the freezer out to find a plug. So I really want to get it done so I can plug in my deep freezer, start freezing products. By the time I finished up the kids' bathroom, which y'all, it took me so long. I kid you not, scrubbing the soap off of that shower took forever. So by the time I got done doing their entire bathroom, my sheets were done and ready to be put back onto my bed. So we're gonna go ahead and make the bed. This is an area that I have really been itching to redo. I want to change my bedding up so bad, but I'm trying to be patient. I'm trying to wait it out until we, you know, just get a little bit more settled in and, you know, everything calms down a bit, but I think I want to do 
a very simple comforter, just like a plain white or maybe a cream color, and then have accent blankets on top of it, kind of like, you know, like what you see on Pinterest. So I've been trying to figure out what colors I want to do exactly. That way, whenever we're finally ready to buy new bedding, I can go ahead and get that. I don't think we're going to be hanging up any curtains in our house, which usually that is a must. I love my blackout curtains in my bedroom and of course in the kids bedrooms too. My kids are early birds. They wake up super early, especially when the sun comes up. They are like me. I've always been an early bird, but if I have blackout curtains, they will sometimes sleep in a little bit. And so I'm always hanging up blackout curtains but this house does not have any curtain rods hung up so if we wanted to put curtains in the house we would have to put curtain rods in all of the rooms and then the thought of having to either take them down and patch up the holes whenever we move out or we would have to leave them and you know they're not cheap curtain rods are expensive so I told my husband, I'm like, as much as I love curtains, I don't think we're gonna put any in this house. We're probably just gonna wait until we move out of here and buy a house again to hang up curtains, which really stinks because I love my room to be pitch black when I go to sleep. I am that type of person where it has to be completely silent and all blacked out. What about you guys? Do you guys have to sleep with like the TV on or like a background noise? Cause yeah, I like it nice and quiet. Now I'm finally tackling the laundry. I had this load sitting in the basket because I wanted to switch over my sheets as quickly as possible. So after I made the bed, I came down quickly, did some laundry, and then that was gonna do it for this day. The kids were about to get off of the bus. That's another thing here. My kids get out of school so early. They are still starting at the same time that they did in Texas, but instead of getting out at 3.45, they now get out at 2.30. So it feels like my days are so short. It's like I turn around and I'm like, oh my gosh, they're already getting out of school. Thought I would include a grocery haul in today's video since I haven't done one in a while. So I just did a huge Sam's Club haul. I'm trying to stay around $250 for the week. So these are the groceries for the week. I spent a little under $250. So I got a case of water. I do meal plan that way. I know exactly what I'm cooking every night and you know, I don't buy stuff that's not necessary. So I got some pepper jack cheese. I'm gonna be making some sliders this week as well as for some sandwiches. I got a big thing of some baby carrots for the kids. I like to pack those in their school lunches. I got some almond milk for our cereal. My kids love cosmic apples, so I got a thing of apples, some more eggs. I also am trying to pack at least one fruit in my kids' lunches as well. So I got some blueberries, some apples, and I have strawberries left over from last week for them. More jelly because we ran out. For the sliders, I love to add everything but the bagel seasoning to the top of the sliders. So I ran out, had to get some more. Nutella, my kids have been begging for Nutella sandwiches. I got some granola to add on top of our yogurt. I like this one because it has higher protein. It's 13 grams per serving. I got some buns. I am gonna be making some barbecue pulled chicken sandwiches. I got uh, two different things of bread because we're super low and you guys know I love to freeze my bread. A big thing of Velveeta shells. That way we can have sides this week. I love to use the Hawaiian rolls for the sliders, so I got that for the sliders. Our favorite yogurt, this one has 15 grams of protein, no added sugar, and then the kids will top it with the granola and some fruit, and it's so good. They'll even eat this for like a breakfast. A huge thing of cheese. I was buying the smaller things from like Walmart and stuff, but we go through it so fast. I was like, you know what, let's just go back to this. I think I might 
leave half out and then freeze the other half that way it doesn't go bad um, and because it just takes up so much space in our fridge I also needed some Parmesan cheese I'm really trying to do better and not buy the like pre-shredded like craft one that we typically use I know this is so much better for us so I got this big thing it should last us ah, a really long time and the good thing is cheese, you know, cheese stays good for a long time. So I am going to be making this really yummy looking chicken. It's called like Parmesan baked chicken. I don't know. It looked really good and I needed Parmesan for it. So excited to try that out this week. Got the kids some more of their cheese sticks. Three things of the grass fed ground beef. These are my kids' favorite chicken nuggets, and I like these because it has less ingredients, more protein, less carbs. Um, these are the Just Bear ones. I got a big bag of the chicken tenderloins. This is what I'm going to be using for not only the pulled chicken, but also the um, baked Parmesan chicken too. And then this week, I went with two different meats. So we're going to be using the roast beef for our sliders, and then I got the rotisserie chicken for me i want to do like tortillas with the cheese for lunch and then you know put like a little salad on there um and then also just for sandwiches for the kids for lunch they can use that meat but that is everything that i picked up this is going to be what i need for the whole week and hopefully i won't have to make any more trips to the grocery store it is now the very next day and we are going to be tackling my dining room like i told you guys this was becoming our catch-all so time to tackle it my file box i knew that i wanted to put that up in our bedroom in our closet and i just kept putting it off so i finally carried it up the stairs i was really proud of myself because that thing was not light but i was able to get it into our bedroom my husband's guitar was still wrapped up we ended up putting that inside of the gun safe whenever we moved because we didn't want it to get damaged. Thank goodness we did that because I can only imagine it probably would have been broken too. But we thoroughly bubble wrapped it and stuck it in the gun safe. We didn't ship our guns. We, um, we put those in my husband's truck whenever we moved. Thank goodness for that too because <laughs> that just ended up being a hot mess. But... I had all of the pictures sitting in the dining room, so I wanted to go around the house and hang all the pictures up that I thought I was going to be using. And once again, you know, since this is a rental and we really only plan to be here for one year, I don't want to go out and really buy too much decor. I think I'm just going to work with what I have. I mean, obviously, if I want to get seasonal pieces, I'll do that, but I just don't want to go buy like a stand or any furniture that'll fit this space just because we don't know like where we're gonna put it in our next house and i don't want to buy stuff if we're not going to need it so we're keeping this house super simple thankfully it is a very beautiful home it really doesn't need much decor but just so you guys know like if you're wondering why it looks bare or whatever it's because I'm a cow. Where's Ethan? I'm a cow. <laughs> I just, I don't want to waste any unnecessary money, especially after all the money we wasted on moving our stuff to the house. I'm like, we're just going to use what we have. The only exception is, of course, the things that we had to throw away and couldn't move. And obviously we needed to replace. So like our couches, we didn't want to live without couches. So we did replace the couches. We just bought a new patio furniture set, which you guys will see in this video. We knew we were going to be buying one of those because we had to get rid of our last one. So that was a must as well. And then the last thing that we need to replace is dining room chairs. You guys will see, I don't have any chairs that go to my table anymore. Those got left behind. So I'm still on the hunt for that. And then once we replace that, we will be done with all the big purchases, which I'm so grateful for. I'm just, you know, ready to have everything calm down. I want to be settled into our home and not feel like we have to, you know, buy anything big and replace things anymore. So it's going to be really nice once I get my dining room table done, then this house will be complete.
think I shared this story with you guys before, but this corner stand is probably my favorite piece of furniture that I own. I don't know what it is about this stand, but I absolutely love it. And it's definitely been with me for a long time. I bought it back when we lived in San Antonio from a little old lady off of Craigslist. I met her at her storage unit and I bought this from her for like, I think it was like 20 or $25. She was the sweetest lady ever. And I just love this stand so much. It's so pretty. It has been through the ringer with me. I have spilt so much hot wax from my warmers on it that it's like stained up, but I don't want to get rid of it. I love it so much. Maybe one day I'll touch up the paint, but it is a staple in my house. I knew that I had to find a spot for it. So I was kind of moving things around to figure out where I could fit it. So I stuck the tree over here, but it's a little much right here. I might try to put the stand over here and then that tree over there looks weird because it's overlapping the picture Ugh, i don't know In case you guys were wondering what those big bins are underneath my table those are the bins that we're going to be storing my husband's pokemon in if you guys heard the story my husband is a collector of pokemon we have a ton of collectible items that was one of the big things we were so worried that the movers were going to steal or misplace Thankfully, we did end up getting them back, but the containers that they were stored in were completely demolished. I mean, cracked at the bottom, the lids were cracked and like caved in. So we knew we had to replace the containers. So I recently went to Walmart, picked up some new containers. I made a point to get blue ones. I did not want clear again. I mean, not that I think we will ever hire a mover again. I think that is a no-go for me. I don't think I ever want to take that risk again, but just in case I got blue containers, that way we can put his Pokemon in there. Um, we just haven't gotten around to swapping everything over into there. And I'm, we're still trying to figure out where we're going to store those because it's three huge bins. And my husband was like, well, maybe we can fit it in our closet, but I just, I don't think we're going to have room for it. So that's another thing we're trying to figure out where in the world are we going to store all these Pokemon. If you guys remember, we had a storage unit in our last house. So we had a lot of things stored in the storage unit. And so in this house, we're really struggling with space because we did downsize. And then on top of it, we have a storage unit full of stuff in the garage as well. So the storage is a struggle. Be on the lookout for tons of decluttering motivation because that is something I plan on doing very soon. Once, the, once this house is in order, I'm going to be decluttering like a mad woman because I need to simplify my life. I just have too many things and not enough places to store them. So it's time to get serious. I feel like every time we move, I do a really good job at decluttering and Move, like downsizing enough to fit the space. And so I'm like, here we go again. We're in a little bit smaller house. So it's time to get rid of stuff to fit this space.
Well, when I dropped it, the corner cracked. I'm so sad, I loved these. So I think in place of that, I'm gonna do this brown one that I bought from the thrift store. I could not believe I broke that. I loved that picture frame so much. Ethan was the one who caught it. I didn't even notice the side was cracked. But I was trying to put this one in its place and I just wasn't feeling it. I didn't think it matched very well. So I went with this picture that says, you will forever be my always. I love this saying. So I put it in here. I'm liking it. I mean, who knows if I end up taking it down or not, but I figured since I already put the holes in the wall, I might as well hang something up there. And then I do have this pretty mirror that holds my keys and we have like shelving near the front door that we've been putting our keys on, but I thought it'd be better to actually have a hook and not be like right in your face as soon as you walk in the door. I want it to keep the entryway very clean and simple looking. I haven't showed you guys. We just bought this new patio set a couple days ago. Hopefully the camera is kind of bright out here. We found it at Home Depot. We are obsessed. We got the rug from Home Depot, the table, this cute little candle. It's gonna be so nice hanging out here during the summer and spring. I'm still on the fence of which way I want this table to face. I'm feeling this way, but I don't know. Sometimes I'm like, maybe the other way. I feel like with the dog cages in this room, it just takes up a lot of space. I wanna find some way to either get rid of the crates altogether, or maybe just get one bigger crate and crate them together and buy a cover for the crate. Because really, I only put them in there whenever we have like people over, like say if a plumber's coming or something like that, my dogs will stay underneath their feet. They just wanna like lick them to death. So I do like to crate my dogs whenever we have people come over just so they don't bother anyone. But I'm like, they really don't need to be crated. It's just like, you know, every once in a blue moon and then at nighttime I crate them. So I don't know, I'm just not loving the crates. We'll see what we end up doing, but I love how the dining room looks. It looks a million times better than what it did. Now I just have to find the chairs for it. And now we're moving back into the living room. These little built-ins right here, they have a nice um, piece of glass on top so I can use Windex and just wipe them down. They were super dusty, so I just wanted to wipe them down really quick. This countertop area has definitely become our catch-all as well. So I needed to clear it away, get rid of this clutter. It makes such a big difference when this counter is cleared away. It just looks so much cleaner and organized. And then whenever it's messy, I just, I'm like, oh my gosh, the house is a mess. So I'm really trying to get better at not putting stuff on this counter because it drives me nuts. I did have to leave my ring camera on the counter because I need to return it 
my sister gave us her ring camera and we went to install it and for some reason the battery just wouldn't charge so we think something was just wrong with it and thankfully amazon does this thing which i thought i would share it with you guys because i thought it was really cool so if you have a broken ring product you can go on amazon purchase a new um, ring camera and then if you send in your old one even if it doesn't work they give you a 20% off discount on your new product and then for mine it depends like what you're turning in um, but for my product they gave me an additional $5 coupon so I ended up saving quite a bit of money on our new ring camera so it worked out really nicely and I thought I would share it with you guys in case you have an old one lying around that you wanted to turn in you could get some money for it Now it's time to pick up some dishes. It's the next day and usually my kids do the dishes, but whenever they loaded the dishwasher up the night before, we still had so many dishes left over that needed to be ran. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do the dishes for my kids. So I'm picking them up and then I'm gonna reload it and I'm actually gonna run it because it was so much that it filled up both of them again. And then that way, whenever they get home from school, they can do their chore after dinner. And it's been a pretty constant thing recently that we have to run the dishwasher two times a day, which before I've always only ran my dishwasher once a day, but I think these dishwashers are a lot smaller. We can't really fit as much in them, especially if we put any big items like a big mixing bowl or a, you know, a big pot or pan, it takes up so much room in them. So that kind of stinks because we have to run it numerous times a day. And also another thing that stinks is that each dishwasher, you have to put a different tablet in each one. So I'm going through a lot of product because I'm using two every time I run it. And then I'm also running it two times a day. So I'm using four tablets a day. So what I was thinking, because I'm like, that's expensive. You guys know I like to use the all natural products especially on items where like we're putting them in our mouth or you know just areas where it really will affect us using harsh chemicals so i'm i'm really wanting to stay with all natural products but i also don't want to break the bank so i found a video on instagram of a all natural way to make dishwasher tablets or a dishwasher detergent and it's super simple you guys so I ordered the stuff <laughs> like I'm going to be making my homemade laundry softener. I also want to start making homemade laundry, not laundry, dish detergent. So I will be sharing both of those recipes, if you will call them. Um, I'll be sharing that with y'all and then I'll let you know what I think about it, how it works and all of that. And if it's worth making it on your own, I'm really excited to get started. I'm just waiting for everything to come in. I'm missing just some baking soda and then I'll be ready to start making everything and share it with y'all. I'm really excited. I can't believe that the kids in Texas are already on their spring break. My best friend was telling me, she was like, it's so nice, she's sleeping in. Um, but we're starting our spring break at the beginning of April. But I'd love to know if you guys have any fun things planned for your spring break, what are you doing? I've really been wanting to see what they have around here that I could go take my kids to do something either cheap or free is the um, is the plan, but I want to see what they have around here. I want to plan some fun stuff for spring break, get the kids out of the house, especially because the weather is starting to warm up a bit. It's been feeling so good out, so I really want to do something fun with the kiddos, and I'd love to hear what you guys have planned. Just listen on me. Oh, 
And of course, I have to clean my sink whenever I get done doing the dishes. It's like the cherry on top. I love doing it. So I'm using some Dawn Power Wash spray inside of here to wipe it all down and get it shiny and clean. And then that's gonna do it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up for me. I appreciate it. If you're new and you haven't subscribed, I'd love for you to subscribe. I upload new cleaning motivation weekly and I'd love to have you here. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.